Hi, this is just a little prayer time that we're having. I'm just starting just a short little declaration. We do have online prayer and I'll be sending you information coming up, but um, this is just daily prayer that I'm gonna start, just declarations of what I feel like the Lord's sharing with me. You know, early in the morning this morning, I felt like God was saying that to, to bring up in my heart John 16, 14. It says the Holy Spirit, basically what it's saying, the Holy Spirit will declare, disclose, and transmit the will of the Father to us. That is God's desire, that the Holy Spirit take what God, the creator of the whole universe, what his will is for our life, and we know it's good, and that he would declare it. Then next, he would he would um, transmit it. No, I'm sorry. He would declare, disclose it, and transmit it. The will of the Father to us. And I got to thinking if I had, was going to give you a new car, brand new car, and I said, I declare that I am giving you a new car. And you could call up all your friends and say, yeah, Pam's just going to give me a car, giving me this car. And they said, well, what is the car and what's the name of it and what's it look like and what does it do? And, and you'd say, I don't know, Pam just declared to me that she has given me a car. But you see, it's very important that we don't stop there. That um, in the word of God, that's what God says, that his desire for us is that the Holy Spirit would declare the will of God. Now, next, we have to submit to the disclosure. In other words, disclosing um, the new car would be for me to give you a full color brochure with all the details of what the car's name is and how it works and this little thing and that little thing and this little thing and you would read it and you would study and you would submit yourself to reading, to, to absorbing and to understanding what I had given you. And then thirdly would be the transmission of the new car. In other words, I would hand you the keys, you'd be able to understand it, you'd get in the car, and you would drive the car. So today I believe that God is saying that he wants to declare, disclose, and transmit the wonderful, awesome, always good, not based on the circumstance of the world, with no um, expiration date, perfect and good will of God to us today and to you today. And I want you to read Romans 8 in the Amplified Version. It says, through the abundance of God's grace and the gift of his rightness, we reign in life as kings through Christ Jesus. So everything you do today, may it be positioned out of a place of royalty, of, of king and queenship, of a place of ruling and reigning in life with his rightness absorbing us, with his goodness, with his will, with his kingdom, with his way. And may we go forth and walk out the will of God. Stephen says this statement, the word presents a intolerance of trees without fruit, clouds without rain, and prayers without power. May we become intolerant of expecting nothing from God. He's a good God. I'm going to read that again. The Word of God presents a intolerance of trees without fruit, clouds without rain, and prayers without power. So today I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you for the ones that are watching right now. I just pray that you would let them see themselves as Romans 8 says, through the abundance of your grace and the gift of your rightness, may they reign in life as kings and, ki and queens through Christ Jesus today. Father, I thank you that according to John 16, 14, that you said you want to declare, disclose, and transmit by Holy Spirit to them the will of you, the will of God, your will, your wonderful will today. So in the name of Jesus, I see that some people have ugly, horrid glasses on 
of di distortion, that they're seeing things wrongly. It's blurred. It's, it's the wrong colors. I pray in the name of Jesus that those glasses would be broken and you would have the courage to remove those glasses and pick up the glasses of truth. It's the designer, big T, God's truth. And fa Father, I pray that we would become intolerable in, in, intolerant of prayers without power, with a life without power, with a life without knowing and understanding and walking in your will, without your gift of joy. We would become intolerant of a life without your peace, your love, your victory, and your answers. So right now we put on the glasses of your truth. We submit to your rightness, your righteousness, your goodness, and we choose to walk in power, in authority, in joy, in victory, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Blessings on you.